Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. Within today's video, we're going to be introducing you to arrays and their use within programming. Now for those of you that don't know what an array is, it is essentially a list of variables. And this list of variables can be really, really important and it's something that we're going to be using quite common in terms of our programming. So with this list of variables, they all need to be the same type. So you can have an array, which is essentially a list, and that list can be made up of all integers, all booleans, all vectors, all floats, but it's not going to be mixed up of multiple variable types, it's always going to be one. Now, as you start to get deeper and deeper into programming, you're really going to start to understand why and how you can use an array. But the bit that you need to know for today's video is that an array is a list of variables. And with this, we can then use functions to get certain pieces of information and we can break this down and start incorporating it into our gameplay mechanics and our game uh, gameplay code and all that good stuff. Now, what we're going to be doing in today's video is creating an array as part of our third person character. And once we've created this array, we're going to be showing you how you can create it, add entries, and then talk you through some of the main and common functions that you're going to be using for that array to make you a little bit more familiar with them. We're not going to be going through each and every function for the array, as there's quite a few and it's going to take a little while. And this is just an introduction. You guys can have a little play around with that, experiment with that. I will show you the main ones in today's video. So creating an array is going to be done in the same way that you would with any other variable. So on your left hand side, add a variable and give this a name, test array. And then with this, what we need to do from here is determine the type of array that we're going to have. So what I mean by that is you need to choose if it's going to be a boolean array, a byte array, an integer array, a float array, or any of the other variable types that we've got access to within Unreal Engine. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be creating a string array. If we hit compile, it's just going to be a single value. It's going to be a single variable with just one piece of information in it. To turn this into an array, it's really straightforward. Next to your variable type here, you've got a little colored icon, depending on the type of variable you've got selected. If you click this, you can then change it from a single variable, which, it, which is what it's currently set to, to an array, a set, or a map. Now, we're just going to be covering arrays for now, so go ahead and on the drop down menu here, select array. You won't see any changes until you hit compile, so just go ahead and compile this and what you'll notice now is what we can do is change the default values for our array, which is essentially our list. Now, by default, you are not going to have anything in that list, so you need to create some entries. So press the little plus icon here to add an element into this list. What you'll notice is that the first entry onto the list is going to be set to zero. And the reason why it's doing that is because a, an array is zero based in terms of index. So it's always going to start from zero and then one, two, three, and four. So the first entry is actually zero. So just bear that in mind when you're working with this in your code later on. So first piece of information, we are just going to give this the value hello world and what I can do then is add another entry and we're just going to give this the value goodbye world and you can see here we are now starting to build up our list. So let's talk about how we can actually use this within our blueprints now. We've created our list, let's take a look at some of the functions we can work with and how we can actually start incorporating it into our code. So to bring your array into your event graph, go ahead and select it in your variables tab, drag it in and get a reference to this. From here, what you're then going to be doing 
is using one of the functions within your utilities tab underneath your array. And you can see here, we've got some common functions such as add, add unique, append array, clear, contains item, find item, uh, we've got some for loop stuff and all of that good stuff. So the main ones that you're going to need to use is your, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, your main ones you're going to need is your add, which is going to add an item to your array, your clear, which is going to clear an array, removing all content from that. You've also got length, which is getting you the number of items in an array. You've also got the last index, which gets the last valid index into an array. Remove item, remove index, and you've got a few other little miscellaneous ones in there as well. But the main ones you're gonna need is add, clear, remove item, remove index, and all of that good stuff. So what I want you guys to do is have a little play around, try and figure out some of these little nodes, such as add, and just start joining them up. What I will do is quickly show you how to use add and clear. So add, the first pin you've got is an execution pin, and this needs to be hooked up to an event. What I have got to here is my begin play, so I can hook this up. And what it's gonna do is simply just add an item to the array to the next available index. At the moment, we have got zero and one, so the next available index will be two. And then in here, we just put the value such as 52 or welcome back or whatever it is that you're trying to add on there. So that is how you use your add. Walking back into this, we have also got our other main common ones. So for our array, drag out, utilities, array. Let's go ahead and hit clear. And with this, you are just hooking this up to an event and that's gonna clear the whole array. So there is lots and lots of these little nodes for you to play around with for your array, but hopefully by now you have a better understanding of what an array is and how it can be used within your programming. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.